Breakfast, Micah. No! Want to stand for breakfast? No! Good morning, ladies. And there may be a gentleman or two in there. Hope everyone's doing well. It does look like everybody ate the greens from yesterday. Water time. Alrighty, so no bathtub for the ducklings today. Sorry. If you missed that video, make sure you check it out. But uh, we've got a number of things to do around the homestead today. And we have Thanksgiving coming up, so uh, we definitely want to be ready for that. Alrighty, well, this is a time of year where it gets less encouraging to come out to the garden. To harvest just because there's not that much to harvest and also at this time of year we may have some nights that it gets below freezing and some nights that don't but according to the forecast there is there we don't have any freezing temperatures coming up for the next few days so we're gonna go ahead and uncover a number of our greens that we had covered protecting them from freezing temperatures and I have to harvest some greens for our customers for Thanksgiving. In this first bed that we're uncovering, I have some bok choy growing right here and uh still has a little bit more to grow on it but we also have some rain in the forecast so some nice rain without the freezing temperatures to do do it good we don't have a lot growing in these beds right here so nothing to worry about there so we're actually going to need to kind of take care and clean those beds up and uh, tarp them here pretty soon but right back here, I have a bed of lettuce. We're gonna uncover and see how it is doing. And then right down here, we have some lettuce and it's almost like baby lettuce right now. Not quite ready for full harvest. We may gather a couple leaves off of it, but I am uncovering and let some good air flow in here, as well as some rain when it comes. Alright, so this lettuce looks pretty good. So we're going to harvest from here as well as a couple other spots where I have arugula and kale growing and just make a nice little salad mix, a November Thanksgiving salad mix.
It's been a crunch trying to get things ready for our customers before Thanksgiving. But it feels so good to know that the fruits of our labor are going to be, people are going to be enjoying it this Thanksgiving with their families. It just makes me feel good knowing that all the work that we put into the garden, especially here recently, they're going to be enjoying it together with their loved ones. How does it make you feel? It makes me feel proud, for one thing. Um, we worked so hard for so long to get our farm to where it is right now. And even though we want to take it even farther, um, just being able to grow food for people that they're going to sit down with their families and enjoy, or just sit down anywhere and enjoy. Just that, that just brings a, uh, a good pride, not, oh, look at us, but one that you just feel good about. Yeah, sense of just feeling good about the work that we've done. Knowing that we, we put our heart and being into the things that we do to feel good knowing that others appreciate that too. Yes. And uh, there's a lot of things that I want to do here on the homestead. I look around and see all the different projects that I want to do and things that I'm just not satisfied with how they are. And it just makes me think, oh man, am I doing as good as I want to? But a day like Thanksgiving, is a day that is really, really important to just pause and be thankful for what you have and where you are. Because far too often we're just kind of thinking what well, what we don't have, what we want, and all the desires and things that we have. And I really think having a day of Thanksgiving is extremely important for us to pause and take those take a time out to really just be reflective on the things that we do have. Yeah. And look back at what you have accomplished and be thankful for that. Because I know Mike, sometimes he gets really down on himself about what is not done. But if we go back to the pictures of whenever we first moved here, I mean, there is so much that we have accomplished. And, you know, I, I feel good about that. I do. I do. And I, I, I do struggle with that. I'm like, oh, I want to do more. I want to be better. I want to be better. But uh, at times I just need to stop and say, hey, I have done something that's fairly decent. And I think that not just for me, but for all of us, those of you watching too, it's very important for you to take a pause, take time out, and just be thankful for what you do have. I know there's more of a controversy here recently involving Thanksgiving and, and people seeing it as a day of racism and celebrating racism. But to me, it doesn't mean that when the proclamation of both George Washington and Abraham Lincoln was for Thanksgiving, it was about a day of pausing and giving thanks to God for the things that we do have, the blessings that we do have in life. And yes, we, are, we look back and think about the pilgrims and, and what they had to do of, of coming over for their religious freedoms and, and coming into the so-called new world. And then there's also some things associated negatively about that. And, of the history involved of people being mistreated and violence and and uh, but you know what every single group of people on this earth have in their history things that they're not proud of yeah so what about you do you think Thanksgiving is a, a racist day a racist holiday as some people are saying you know I, did, I don't feel that way I feel like it is a day that that we are giving thanks for what we have for where we live and you know, there are, like Mike said, there are lots of instances in our history, you know, not too distant history, that are deplorable. But I don't feel like Thanksgiving is a celebration of those things. No. I think Thanksgiving is being thankful for what we have, and it's a day that we can all come together and we can be thankful for the things that we have. So, you know, I, and also, 
I think regardless of what day it is, if it was in, you know, May, someone is going to find something to be offended about. Exactly right. You're totally exactly right. And uh, to be honest with you, even if you look at a number of the national holidays that we have, if you look back on the history, there's, there's some things that aren't really good about it. But we each have to make the decision for ourselves and, and what we're going to do and uh, look into it and prove things for ourselves. And for us, we feel like celebrating Thanksgiving is very important because pausing to give thanks is something we all need to do. And whether you do it on the third or fourth Thursday of November, whatever it is, <laughs> each year uh, or not, you need to pause on a regular basis yeah. and acknowledge the blessings you have in your life yeah. and express thankfulness. We live in a society that's just greedy and, and we don't do that enough. And if you don't want to celebrate Thanksgiving, that's your own prerogative and we're not going to jump on you for that. So, you know, don't go jumping on anybody else yeah. that is celebrating and giving thanks because that's what it's really about. Yeah, so there's a number of national holidays that we don't celebrate, but yeah. uh, but Thanksgiving, we, we, we do believe in pausing to give thanks. And I'm even, I'm even part American Indian and uh, Native American, so um, I still celebrate it. Well, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? Let us know in the comments section below. And we do want to let you know that we are really, really thankful for all of you. We feel so blessed to have you as a part of our life to be a part of our community, our tribe of people from all around the world. That's crazy yeah, to even yeah. think of. That you are encouraging us, supporting us in various ways, showing us love and kind words, and we really, really appreciate that. And it, and it means so much to me knowing that some of you are even inspired by some of the things that we do. I feel so honored about that, knowing that what we're doing actually inspires people. It just feels we wild, get messages weird. all the time about um, you know maybe people are sick, maybe they've had bad days, and they watch our videos and they just say how happy it makes them. And you know to be able to say that you add a little bit of brightness into someone's day is wow. It's it's humbling for one thing, and it kind of makes you stand back and it makes you get all teary eyed sometimes. Yeah. But um, it's just amazing, and we wouldn't be able to do this without you yeah. and uh, it's just thank you. Yeah. So there's a number of blessings that I have in my life that I'm thankful for. I said thankful for you all. I'm thankful for the freedom to be a homesteader and to be able to get out there and do it on a regular basis. And I think I'm thankful for you. I know that I am, so thank you. Whatever. <laughs> but Whatever. we also want to know what you all are thankful for as well. So let us know in the comment section below and we appreciate you once again. And yes, I appreciate you a lot too. I'm so. thankful for you too. <laughs> and one more thing before you go. If you haven't already, sign up for our email newsletter and you can click on the link below to do so. We periodically send out emails to help provide you with just additional information that will help you on your homestead and with your personal and family health. Also, this week we're sending out an email sharing a number of fantastic deals that you can find for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Oh, and we're also doing 10% off all of our merchandise through our Teespring account. So make sure you check that out below. And the coupon code is FIT10. Well, that's it for now. As always, be strong, grow on, and this time, add be thankful to it, whether it's this Thanksgiving or every day for that matter. Be thankful. See you next time.